Polygon Live, Polygon's weekly video game show. Our whole objective here at Polygon Live is to play through some of the games that are coming out each week so you can experience them firsthand, I guess secondhand really, uh, and uh, see if they're up your alley. Uh, today I'm joined by Chris Plant, editor at Larger Polygon. Thank you, Chris, for joining us. You know what? Thank you for having me. And uh, we've got a bit of a special week this week. Um, a bit of an yeah, odd week, if you sure. will. Um, uh, we'll, we'll pull back the curtain a little bit. We've had some uh, technical limitations this week, specifically regarding our very awesome gaming PC. Um, this week we don't really have one, so we sort of had to uh, focus in on some games that'll work on any PC. <laughs> Even a PC that came out maybe 10 years ago, uh, which we might be running the games on today. Uh, what that means though, um, you might be thinking there are some games, of course, would be on this stream. Uh, Next Car Game being one of them. Is that was that the name of that Steam yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. Very uh, graphically intensive car game. Great news. We're going to be able to do all those really graphically intensive games next week. This week, focusing on a core game experience. Now, what what is a core game experience? What are some examples? Let me lay them out for you. Hit me. First up this week, we've okay. got a game called A Wizard's Lizard. Oh, yeah. This is an RPG. Sure. Uh, it's sort of like a Binding of Isaac vibe, um, top-down RPG, uh -huh. 2D graphics. Um, you know, 2D graphics, you said. 2D graphics, just mm, just yes. two of the Ds in How this graphic. How many bits? Uh, several. Okay. There's one or two bits in there. Great. And then we're going to be following that up with a pick that you brought to the table that yeah. you recommended. You want me to tell you about it? Please. Okay, it's called Great Iron Solitaire. Oh, dear God. Got it? <laughs> yeah. So what you do is you take football, okay? Yeah. And you take solitaire, and then you combine them into something okay, that isn't you. really like I So <laughs> both of those games uh, are out uh, right now. You can buy them, and we're going to be playing through them to see if they are up your alley. Uh, we're also going to be ending this episode with a very special game that you can't buy yet, at least on the platform that we're going to be showing it on. Um, but it's going to be a bit of a recurring feature, so get excited for that. Surprise. And um, I guess we'll kick it off with a little Wizard's Lizard. That sounds great. I, I mentioned earlier that uh, it is... Sort of similar to Binding of Isaac, I think people that have played that game will instantly recognize its similarities. Um, even more fun this week, we can't seem to get the audio working on this game. Uh, <laughs> it was working before on my uh, Mac. It's available on Mac PC Linux today. But on this PC, it is really not working. <laughs> so Chris and I will have to fill in the excitement um, with us just talking about it. Sure, so sure. So you can see here, I am this lizard. Um, you now, said... well, before we go too deep into this, uh, okay. if, if you have any questions, you know what you can do? You can go to uh, at Polygon uh, on Twitter. You can send us a message, and I, I'll see those questions, and I'll, I'll bring them up here. That's exciting. Or if you're on the live stream page and you're in the chat, I'm there too. Yeah. So... Wow, let's just like have a nice chat today. Let's have a chat. <laughs> let's have a chat. You want to talk about a wizard's lizard? Ask us mm. questions. You want to talk about life, love, and happiness? Sure, we can get in those. Do two your in. thing. Do your thing. So, um, so, so here, uh, let me let me just uh, explain. So this uh -huh. is com kind of complicated. I'm a lizard. <laughs> no, it's not complicated. Uh, I assure you, whatever you're about to tell me is not complicated. So I'm a wizard. I'm sorry. I'm a lizard. I should uh -huh. be very clear. Uh, belonging to this wizard, and the wizard is sort of trying to conquer death, and he's done it. But okay. death takes umbrage to this and sort of is uh, objecting to it. So now uh, death is pissed off. He um, yells at me and sends me into this crypt, which is really bad. Uh, my wizard is gone, so I basically have no reason to live. And all I can do is sort of just run around. Um, you know what would be great, Chris? Mm -hmm. If you could just move this bad boy. I'm just going to move that mouse out of the way so people don't have to look oh, at that. Sure. I should also mention we tried to get this full screen. Full screen is not really working right <laughs> now. Um, that's, a, that's a game limitation that's not on our end. But they're working on it. Um, so here we're, we're sort of talking to people. I got a sword. Wait, who is that guy? That guy, the, the orange vest really tells me, like, that looks like a guy that I would run into in New York. Like, he's like... You see a lot of orange vest, like, construction Yeah, like an orange vest, especially, like, in my neighborhood. It's yeah. like, oh, you know, we're working on something new in this neighborhood. Maybe it's a new pizza joint. And they wear the orange vest for safety so they don't get hit by cars. Yeah. What's he doing in a wizard's place? He's hanging out. So you can see here mm. that I've gotten a sword. Sword. Uh, the sword is sort of the basic beginner attack. You and the way I'm attacking here, uh, you can see uh, in the lower right hand corner, uh, I'm basically using analog sticks, dual analog stick controls, pretty simplistic there, um, and shooting these swords out. Um, later on in the game, I'll get some um, different weapons uh, that have different attributes, abilities, etc. 
Um, but let's just dive into one of the dungeons. This is this first dungeon in the game, and it is the Save, the Save the Wizard. Pretty okay. standard. Uh, and, Zach Gerlach uh, asks if this game came out of nowhere. Um, because he, had, he hadn't heard of it before this. I hadn't heard of it sure. before this. Sure. Uh, the way I spotted it is that um, it was just on a game release list, and I thought the name was really <laughs> funny. So I Googled it, and it's actually... So it's not on Steam. Um, it's available uh, if you go to, I think it's a wizardlizard.com or just Google it. Sure. Um, and it's basically a game that they're trying to get onto Steam via Greenlight. Um, I think... They were definitely, I think there was a Kickstarter or some sort of Indiegogo style campaign. I'm getting rocked here um, to uh, collect money for it um, because there are, uh, later on in the game, I'll show you, there's like a room where you can see all the people that gave money to the game. Um, so right now, uh, I'm pretty much going through dungeons. You can see a lot of the similarities with Binding of Isaac here. Um, I'm delving through these dungeons, collecting money. Um, trying to kill these monsters. I need to come back. Oh ghost. my god! <laughs> uh, sorry, our, our screen cut out for a brief second, and I died. <laughs> um, so this is interesting. You can actually die twice. Um, if you die once, you. Oh my god! <laughs> sorry. Uh, if you die once, you are um, sort of transplanted into this undead realm where you not only have to fight the people that are alive, you also have to fight their ghosts, represented by these um, white skeleton dudes. Uh, the skeletons will just keep coming unless I kill this uh, skeleton. skeleton. Yeah. Um, uh, and so it's sort of a weird mechanic where you have these two lives, and the, but on the second life, the game gets a lot harder. Um, here, we're going to collect some money. Oh, nice. Now, what do you do with the money? You spend okay, it, you I'm going to show stuff? you once we find a store. Uh, I'll show you some of the so money mechanics. It's pretty straightforward. Come on. Store. Oh, okay. So, um, one second. Once I clear these guys out, uh, I will show you treasure, which is also uh, a big part of this game. Collecting treasure. Oh, my God. This is very claustrophobic. Ah! Yeah, I'm getting overwhelmed by the number of uh, enemies on screen. Okay. Oh, that was just terrible. Oh, man. This is bad, Chris. I know. It's kind of like amateur. Ouch. Ouch. Did you do it? No. Oh, oh my. I gotta, There's one more dude spawn left. point. I'll kill it. Die. And sometimes if you <clears> walk <throat> over to the dirt, more zombies show up, which is bad. Okay, so we quit. Ah! <laughs> so we, okay, we cleared out all the enemies. You can see the door open. We can also open this chest. The chest contained lead boots. Um, so you'll get items that give you passive upgrades. Let's see if we can, here I can show you the inventory on the HUD there. You can see my boots at the top left side of the screen and that'll give you upgrades. Some of them uh, just increase like your defense. Some of them do interesting things like I got an abacus that shows you the exact amount of damage and like how much money you get um, from, oh, I got a key. Uh, how much money you get from uh, when you pick up gold piles and stuff like that. Like it's specifically showing you the amount of numbers rather sure. than it just being Let's a Let's go down behind the scenes. Increase. Yeah, it's a behind the scenes look, uh, if you will. Oh my God, some bread. So even though I'm dead here, I still have a real penchant for bread. Um, Naturally. Bread is my um, reason for living, among other things. I'm still with this basic can, sword. I really need to get, can you get a, back to a better weapon. Uh, I don't know. I've never reached that. Oh, I got some fire, fireproof gloves. Fireproof gloves, I sure. should say. Um, chances are those gloves actually prevent damage from fire. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, my God. Oh. No, the owls. Oh, I feel like there's a strategy here that maybe you're missing. Well, the problem is my Shield stats are really defense. crummy. That was one of the did, things... Did, did the stats carry through between rounds? No. Or is it a full it's reset? like Binding of Isaac. It's like a full reset. What you do get carried through, you can unlock like later... Oh, oh right. God. Should I try this? Sure. Um, okay. You can unlock later dungeons, um, and uh, so you can like start later in the game. Pick up that gold. Uh, can you upgrade the range of your sword? Uh, so you can't, you can't upgrade the range of your sword, but you can get items that have more upgrades. You can't kill that guy. He's friendly. Uh, uh, you can walk around town if you want, and you can see some of the other things. That's just the yeah, ball for like, kicking. Remember the, remember the Apple of Truth in Assassin's Creed? Yeah. That's what that looks that, like. This is actually a spin-off of Assassin's Creed. I don't know Would if I mentioned it. not be surprised. Um, so certain items will have more range. So, for example, I got a spear the other day that goes all the way across the screen and fires really quickly. 
So uh, if that's your Damn. style of play... How do you kill the ghosts? You they can't. Just, they just walk around? If you're in the living world, it's like Dark Souls. If you're in the living world, you can't interact with the ghosts. But if you're in the dead world, they attack you and are angry with you because you're taking up real estate. Uh, so you can see this 360 degree aiming, or at least pretty close. It's not quite eight direction. I think it's more than eight direction. Um, whereas a game like Mind of Isaac, I think only had four directional aiming. Um, it definitely feels like that was their inspiration. Uh, I, game design wise, I think it probably doesn't scale as well as Binding of Isaac did. I remember when I was first playing that game, like the first dungeon was like pretty easy to understand and there were a few enemies, whereas here they like really throw you in. Um, tons of enemies, stuff like that, and it gets pretty crowded. Uh, but you did a good job there. Well done, Chris. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this Getting game. some money. Oh, and here we go, we uh, have a okay. store. You don't have enough money. No! You can come back to the store once you've collected more money. So we're gonna save up for that spear, which is 2,500, you've got 15 right now. Um, the only way to get that key is if you were dead. So there are, that is sort of a mechanic. Sometimes you want to kill yourself on purpose. Don't do that, though. We can come back to it. Okay. <clears throat> there are unlockable characters. I have not unlocked any of them yet uh, because I uh, have only gotten to the second level in this game. But you can unlock characters that have different abilities and base stats and stuff like that. In this case, we're a lizard. Where are some of the other characters? Uh, there's probably a duck. Uh -huh. And a rabbit? I don't actually know, because <laughs> I haven't unlocked any of them. They're all uh, shadowed. So if you focus on one enemy, I think you'll have a better time. <laughs> I don't know why you're giving me advice. Kill that owl. Kill that owl. But, so, oh, shoot. Should I take questions while you're playing? Sure. Let's see if anyone has any Can thoughts. Can find that if you want? OK. Uh, so someone was asking if this is all the game, same gameplay or do they switch it up with pu puzzle areas. Um, based on what I've played, it seems like there are puzzles insofar as like you'll get into rooms with like all uh, like moving traps and stuff like that and you have to avoid the traps. But I don't think you're going to be doing anything where it's like figure out the pattern of like which plates to step on, which honestly I've always hated those puzzles. So I'm sort of happy that, um, uh, happy that that is not in here. Have you played any Binding of Isaac, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. I'm no expert. I'm not like you and Phil, who like, yeah. me Phil, and Phil are crazy. plays competitive Phil Binding of Isaac. Is this enough money for me to get that uh, spear? Yeah, you've got enough. You can run back there. Oh, dang. Oh, no! Stay, stay alive. Oh, wow. This is not Get some meat. Good. Get that meat. That it's health. Meat Where is it? On the left. That meat slab. There you go. The other time that I was um, playing, I got this cool double sword attack that just crushed people. Uh, something uh, that you might like is the fact that while you don't carry over items, there is a there's sort of a museum that you build up, almost Animal Crossing esque, that shows you all the weapons and items and enemies you've faced and stuff like that. And the more you play the game, it fills up with everyone you've faced, so you can sort of so I can get just keep walking back. While I'm gonna go get yeah, that. you can go back. Okay. So long as there are no enemies on the screen, you can just oh, this thing walk where you want. Look. You could also kill those lights. There's some dynamic lighting going on there. Mm. <laughs> we, are, uh, we are running this on an HP, uh, I'm sorry, it's a Samsung. <laughs> We're running this on my dad's Dell. I, yeah, it's, <laughs> I was it's like, a Dad, fine PC. Can you lend me that hot Dell you bought in 1996? If you're, running, like, no problem. Uh, if you're looking to run uh, solely 2D games, this is the laptop what is for you. This? What the hell? You can't is buy this? that. You don't have enough money. It doesn't let me know what it is. No. What's this? What's get this book? The, don't book, well, don't walk on the book. What's the book? buy it. So get the spear. I don't know what the book is. You got a hunting spear now. Uh, so I at. don't like not being able to know what I'm. I Wait, why are all the doors locked? <laughs> oh. Oh shit. no! Kill him! Oh no! I just you went spelunky. You attacked the shopkeeper. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I want that book. No. Ah! He doesn't know how much I like to read. Oh, God. Maybe I you can would do anything okay, for literature. Okay, you're going to come back to life. Focus on the... You're dead! Focus on attacking. Don't blow it. This... Oh, you can get everything now, because he's pissed. Pick it all up. You got a monster manual and an anti-venom ring. I, Mon I should oh, not monster manual, him. see? Look so, how powerful he is. No, goes. you just lost the... Pick up your spear again. You lost the spear. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so, oh, uh, 
You can okay. see that the monster manual added his life bar at the bottom of the screen. Also that these spears have a lot more range than what he was using before. You can also see that this guy's like jacked in terms of power. Well, yeah, you're not really supposed to attack the shopkeepers. That's sort yeah, of Yeah, how did I know? I, uh, it's a pro you are, move. You are not. I didn't know you could do it, honestly. We're learning as we go. It's a pro move. I didn't know you could do it. <laughs> it's that pro of a move. And okay, so you've killed wow. him. You got everything for free in the I store. Am exceptional at this game. You are quite. Oh, and you can get the key now that you're dead. Oh yeah, but now I have to fight ghosts. Yeah, so it's sort of a give and take. I believe it's. What's pronounced... to the right? There's a room to the right. Good, 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 go. good, 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 ghosts. Ah, right, of course I didn't do it. I have to go do this. Man, these spears are. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is easy peasy. I, I just want to see us beat this level. What, the, I don't think that's this sort of game. I have a feeling that we're not going to beat the level. No, there is. There's a boss. I fought the boss. You did? Yeah, I fought the boss. You did it without the monster manual? Without the monster if you can believe it. Wow. I know. Okay. Okay. So you're progressing. You're making progress. Clearing out this room. Of course I am. Uh, we've uh, got this looks like pentagram. Is this a boss? Get some treasure. No, that's not the... I don't know what that is. This is the magic of a wizard's lizard is that... Uh, you're discovery. essentially learning as you go. It's like sure. a, it's a roguelike, if you will. I don't know if you're familiar with this genre of roguelikes, roguelike. uh, Chris. It's all the rage in video games these yeah, days. I know all about it. Um, I'm an they're randomly generated. I played Cheer and the Wanderer. Uh, and I don't know what that is. What? I never played okay, that game. What, how do I open it? A. How do I, oh, got it. What'd you get? Boots. You got some boots. Wait, what is this? How do well, I do this? I don't know what that is. Maybe, oh, you're heal. It's healing you. What? And all I had to do was oh, make you a came back to life. Devil. You're back to life. Amazing. Oh, this makes a lot of sense You cracked that code. Oh, don't, don't go. Shoot. Don't bite him. It's too expensive. You can fight him if you want. Can I talk to no. him? No. Yeah, you have the A. Welcome. Buy a blueprint. Show me the blueprints. Show me the blueprints. <laughs> okay. So that's a good avi aviator reference. Well done, sure, Chris. thank you. Um, Wait, the... that's it? I can't leave? No, this, you haven't explored the whole dungeon yet. Oh, my gosh. Here. I'm going to kill her. If you hit uh, maybe select, it'll bring up a map. Try that. Yeah, there you go. So there's your map. Oh. Uh, there was, remember that place where I said, hey, maybe turn over there. You didn't turn. Okay, I'm going to go do go that. Go there. Um, so that was a neat little aspect that we found where we can come back to life. Using how, those. how much time are we? I don't want to, I want to overdo. I don't want to wear out the well. Well, I do want to show, so you pipe through until you die. And I do want to show one mechanic that uh, does add um, another progression mechanic sure. to this game where you're not starting from scratch every time. And that's the, the village, which we'll see once you die. But I do want to see if is you that have where to... you find out that the whole game actually uh, is taking place right now, even though you think it's taking place in like the 1700s. Uh, yes. Same night, Shemaya. <laughs> uh, someone was asking. Zach Gerlock in the chat was asking um, if you can shoot more than eight directions. Mm, uh, no, it doesn't look like it's full 360. I, but it's it does almost. Is that no? It looks like it's more than eight, doesn't it? Uh, actually, yeah. It's, it's really it's like slow. almost like ten or twelve. <laughs> it's <laughs> weird, but it's definitely uh, it allows for more uh, accuracy because you are using the 360 oh, pad. Oh no! And here we got a boss. It's a zombie warlord. Chris, Don't worry. can you do it? Yeah, I'm totally prepared for this. Stay far away from him because he has like a ball and chain action thing going on. Oh, oh, good. Use the exploding barrels. Why didn't I Shoot. think of that? Gotta get good at this game before you can beat me. Oh god! Dang it! I'm getting stuck in these. Okay. Wow. First of all, let me ask you not he to curse is. on the stream. Did I curse? Yeah, you said dang it. Oh, dang. That's the Midwestern curse. <laughs> Shucks. Shucks. God uh, damn it. Oh, God. I need him to use his twirly thing to knock out these. I don't think that guys. actually works. <laughs> oh, the, the twirly thing doesn't hit the I guys? No, you gotta kill them. They're chasing you. So if you. Um, end up dying if you lose okay. this 26 health, you're going to be in Ghost World, and this uh, map's going to no. go be a lot harder. So try to finish him off before you I die. I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah, it's a neat mechanic. Man. And and there are, uh, you know, that key that you got was only attainable by uh, go going ghosty. I'm going to be honest. I think that the shopkeeper was more real deal than this guy. This guy is kind of... Yeah, I'm, that makes sense. Although he does have that charge move that can be pretty devastating. Mm. Not that Maybe one. if you're not good at the game. This one. That one got me a few times. Oh, and this guy came back to life too. That. No, see, oh, if you I walk over the dirt, the that's bad. It's bad news, Charlie. Oh, man, I'm going to totally die. No, you're doing good. No. Sh oh, oh plant. They're zombies. They move really slowly. Yeah. 
Maybe if I could hear it. That's probably it, you know. I'm probably actually great at the game. It's yeah, just there, there are all sorts of audio cues sure. to let you know that there's zombies all over the place. Don't get that money. You're going to get caught in the, the webs. Oh, come on. Deal that damage. Look at him. Oh, Look yeah, at red. you're doing good. You're it's doing like good. TMNT right here. Okay, this is good. I think you're whittling uh -huh. him down. He's probably very close to death. Mm. Uh, he's got like about that. a quarter health left. <laughs> this is not going to end well. It's going to be so close, and then I'm going to lose. Well, oh, even if you die, though, you're going to go on death. Uh, shoot. That's fine. You're in oh, death. Oh, yeah, mode. but I did it in like the most humiliating yeah, way. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> you blew oh, yourself up. Oh, shoot. Okay, run, run, run. Again, let me remind you about the cursing. Please don't curse. <laughs> you just said shoot. Okay. Okay, so now you can see, like, it's a bit of a situation <laughs> now. The game has gotten a lot harder. Uh, death is, is, you know, only the beginning. It's at the door. <laughs> But you do have a full uh, health thing. You're up to 84 health again. I need to stop these Well, just So what right. I would recommend is killing those um, bone piles. Sure, yeah, kill the bone piles. That's something that I learned in Gauntlet. Oh, the bone piles are gone, so you just have to worry about zombies. Oh, this now. is, I'm doing it. You're doing it. This is I the I believe end. in you. There's a bunch of gold there. Don't, just wait, this you don't is need like, to get the gold now. You can get it when you kill This is a pink blood sign right now. Is what? Nothing, I'm just being dumb. I can't, I can't can't focus on the laws or anything. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. You're doing a good job, though. Thank you. I appreciate this. He's, he's just about dead. Oh, he just raised a bunch of zombies. This is... I'm going to finish him. You're, you've got him. You've got him. He's in the back. This is, uh, I like your tactic here where you're thoughtfully killing all the smaller zombies first. Yeah, sure. Okay, now take him on. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Oh, there, right in, uh, He's there toast. it is. He's toast. There it is. Zombie Warlord. He drops a bunch of gun, uh, gold, rather, a chest, whatever. And uh, you should, once you kill that guy, be able to progress. Oh, man. And you'll get a big treasure. What? What? What's in there? What do you think it is? I don't know. No, it could I'm be not going to get it. No, get it. Ah, uh, juked. You got a poison sword. Poison. Okay, well, now mm. well, let's see what the poison sword does. So there you go. So that, well, it probably does more damage, so let's stick with you the think? poison sword. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. And you beat the cemetery. Well done, Chris. Yeah. That blueprint probably would have been good. Yeah, we would have liked the blueprint. Uh, let's just uh, briefly check this area out, and then we'll... Uh, move on. You'll kill yourself, and we'll move on. Sure. Um, <laughs> so something... Another day. Uh, ...that they've added, I don't know that we're going to see it in this playthrough, but they added this sort of town overworld that you can enter when every time you die, you start from there. And what that allows you to do is you can start from a later level, like skip right to these slime levels if you unlocked the appropriate items. Uh, you can also, um, uh, you know, we found a blueprint earlier, we didn't have enough money to buy it, but those blueprints unlock weapons that you can then buy in town. Um, so if you have a preferred weapon, you can sort of start with that rather than having to, you know, find it randomly in a dungeon. Um, so it adds, you know, some interesting progression mechanics. Sure. Um, yeah. And it's, you know, it's I cute. Know. I feel like I kind of got uh, misled. I took the poison sword, and then I get thrown in what looks like a poison level. Yeah, I should have mentioned that this is a poison level. Mm. Okay, so I would say probably gonna... time to go ahead and kill yourself. Okay. And move on. We could actually just quit. Just I don't quit. know that you okay. need to kill yourself. Let's do it. Uh, you want to check out and see if uh, anyone had any posing? Sure, sure. Queries. Um, so that was Wizard's Lizard. Uh, oh, Wizard's Lizard, I should say. Um, interesting game. I think it's about 11 or 12 bucks on their website. Go check it out. Uh, you can buy it DRM free direct from them. Uh, it's not on Steam yet. I think they're trying to do a green light thing. But interesting. Uh, I really love Binding of Isaac, so seeing other games that follow that same style are always cool to check out, especially in the ways that they differentiate the gameplay. Um, didn't think it was dramatically different, but took sort of a sure. different tack with it a little bit. Do you, was it made in Unity? Like, uh, I, I am not a game designer, so I, I guess have it was no Flash, idea. actually, is what Binding of Isaac was made in? Oh, uh, yeah, so Binding of Isaac was made in Flash. I, this is definitely not in Flash. Um, I don't know what this was made in. Might have been Unity. Might have been Game Maker. <laughs> Might have been uh, Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> I don't actually know. Okay. But it's cute. Um, um, yeah. I think yeah. that's it. Okay. It's, it's a pretty simple game. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Cute. 
I killed the Skeleton King. I feel like there's a lot of people out there that have like MacBook Airs sure. or like really crappy work computers that their work gives them and they have very little option for like games. Is this a passive aggressive comment about the computer we're using today? No, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, but I feel like there are many people out there and those people might be thinking, oh, I can't play games. All I can play is Solitaire and, and Pinball. What's that sci-fi pinball game that's really awesome that was on Windows computers? Space Cadet Pinball. Sure. I can only play Space Cadet Pinball. You're wrong, folks. There are plenty of games. There are plenty of games you can play on your crappy work computer. Speaking of, uh, such as a Wizard's Lizard, and we have yet another one coming right at you right after this, and then uh, that's going to be followed up with by a surprise game. But uh, let's uh, talk about what's going to be uh, next on the list. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it is a game like Solitaire. Sure. Okay, so it's called Gridiron Solitaire. Okay. Uh, it is by a man named Bill Harris, who you might know if you've been on the internet for a long time. Uh, Any been... relation to Ed Harris? No. Well, maybe, but probably no. It's a pretty common name. Yeah. yeah. Um, he uh, writes for a blog called Dubious Quality. He's been blogging about games since, like, 2004. Yeah. Uh, I think this is his first game, okay. but I could be wrong. It's definitely the only one on Steam right now. First one to grab your attention. Um, yeah, sure, we'll say that. Um, and it works kind of like Solitaire, kind of like football, and um, you don't really need to know how to play either of them to play this game. Okay, I know uh, how to play both, so does that give so me an advantage that, or a disadvantage? Like maybe a small one? I, I, I don't know, you, you kind of tell me as we go through it. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll get it started. Um, and. Let's see I'll what we got here. Opinion. Get ready for some intense music. Okay. Uh, actually, we might not get it now. Oh, okay, there, there it is. is. Oh okay. my god. So we'll just go through the, the beginning because I think the tutorial is pretty helpful. I love this pump. Okay, so... Uh, so they've while, got official uh, team names here. Yes, it is a card game, but... Uh, Vancouver Wales, my favorite team. Yes. Minnesota Minotaurs, screw them. No. They're like a diehard rivalry. Also, what is this idea of Vancouver having a football team? Um, ugh. I don't, they're probably the CFL. They probably have a CFL oh, and team. And Buffalo was allowed another team? That's a mistake. They'll never pay their bills. Um, <laughs> here, so each team uh, has its own ratings. I don't fully understand uh, why you would choose uh, one above the yeah, other. This is I, already I, like I, way too complicated. I, I tried to understand <laughs> Is this it, the uh, normal starting mode? Like you just booted the game and this is the first thing okay, you see? Okay, so what you're learning is like difficulty is a function of the team ratings. It does impact the actual deal of the cards. Okay. Um, but I think it does impact the skill of the computer you're going against. Okay. Um, so we're going to pick like the best team, uh, who I believe to be the Carolina Blues. Okay. Uh, we're going to confirm the team selection. A new hope. A new coach <laughs> seeks championships. That's I love me. the art. Uh, so uh, I, I see someone is a fan of clip art. <laughs> it's super awesome. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I like that the weather is. Uh, <laughs> that does. I would say it looks like Andy Reid. It, it, that, that's my coach. It's Andy Reid. Andy Reid, right there. and this is a young Andy Reid. Yeah. <laughs> this is better days. Alex Smith. He's very sad that he lost. <laughs> uh, oh God. Maybe it is Hitler. It's Hitler mixed with. Uh, Cassell, maybe? Anyway, that so, okay. it, so, so you, we're gonna you play selected game. the Blues. Okay, Carolina. The Carolina Times are writing about me. They have nothing else to write about, so they're going to write about me playing football. Okay. We're going to play play the next game. What? Are we? Oh, wait. I think you got to close the newspaper. Close, close. bottom right. <laughs> it's realistic. You have sure to close, close the newspaper before you is. start a game. Um, so we're going to play the next game. Okay. So... Uh, since we're going through like a tutorial, it's yeah. going to start us, I, I believe, in the third quarter. Oh, that's okay? great. So that's right into the be, action. They're going to be intense right it's now. the third quarter. we got 50 minutes left. Lobster's Score playing the Blues. Score is tied 10 to 10. It's first down, 40 yards to go. Now, unlike football, in football, you have to go 10 yards for a first down. Okay. okay? <laughs> and you have four chances at it, Sure, essentially. they're called downs. Got it? Um, in this, you yeah. have to go for 40 yards. Now, I think the logic here is... If you punt into the end zone and you make the team start at the 20-yard line, yeah. that means if they go 40 yards, they'll get a new set of downs. And if they go 40 more, they'll be in the end zone. So they get basically two chances okay. of fresh downs. Does that make sense? It, uh, yeah. Kind of. Sort of. Let's not think about it too much. Okay. The CPU is the computer. It's doing <laughs> its own thing. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I have two options. I can run or I can pass. Okay. Sure. Okay? Wait a minute. I'm confused. 
Wait, this is solitaire, right? Okay, just you're gonna have to listen. Why to are me. there a you're twelve just, card? Just, There's no twelve card. Okay, in just, solitaire. just just chill <laughs> okay, with me, okay? Fine. So what happens is when I choose runner pass, the whoever's against me is choosing runner pass at sure. the same time. Okay. okay. If if the defense calls the same thing as the offense. Okay. Then I lose one of these cards to play with. Totally reasonable. Okay? Yes. Cards are dealt. The cards go from 1 to 13. Okay. Okay? I guess jack, queen, king. It makes sense if sure. you stop and think about it. I think ace. Uh, and yeah, there's sure. one. There's a wild card. Okay. Okay? You got that? Yeah. Now, one's... Uh, uh, it's, it's kind of teaching this. So, what you want to do is find uh, basically... Two cards that will go with each other. Okay. Got it? Are you with me so far? No. How do they go with each other? They go with each other if they are one above or below. Okay. It's okay. All fair, and sure. they have to be opposite colors. So oh, one no. and two. So it's like right now we have a ten and a seven. Obviously those they are don't work. seven and seven. Those are the same. So even though oh, they're different so it's colors, red and black. I see. So it has like... to be red and. It has oh. to. Be... <laughs> I'm going to murder uh, our production person. And we have one and two. So we're going to put those together. Got it? Okay, sure. Okay, great. This so is exciting. By doing that on a running play, we gain four yards. Why? Right off the bat. Okay? Well, just wait. <laughs> so we gain four yards, okay? If we do a passing play, we gain eight yards. Okay. But we don't do that until we've hit our third match. What? Do you understand? Not really. So I want to play if you, every time you make a match, you're getting four yards. Okay, sure. But it's only four yards each time. Okay. So the gamble is to go passing, where after the first two, oh, I understand. you can get eight yards okay. per thing. I got it. You got it? Sure. So, so it's a balance of running and passing, just like real so football. So now we've run out of valid options, right? 12 12s, they're, they're, none of these actually work. Oh, either. that's a disaster. Don't worry, we can hit big play. Okay. And when I hit this, it'll either give me a new card, a yeah. bonus card, or it'll initiate a text event, which can be good or bad. That's awesome. Okay? So I got dealt another card. Boring. I wanted okay. a text event. So I got three. Oh, uh, no, this doesn't really go with anything either. I could go with another big play. Yeah. I'm, Is not, there going an alter I'm not going to. I'm going to end the play. Wait, that was all just it. one play? That was one play. So now I'm going to go for a pass. Okay. okay? Oh, and he guessed that I would go with a pass, so I lost that card. That oh, was no. There. Got it? Yeah. So 10, 10s, no. 8, 8, 6, 5. Oh, this is a terrible deal. I'm going to go for the big play. I got an 11 and a 10. Oh, great I got work. a wild. Okay, so here's where the actual strategy comes in, right? Okay, sure. 1 and 13 oh, only pair with <laughs> one card each. A 1 only pairs with a 2. Yeah. And a 13 only pairs with a 12. So if you have cards that low, you want to get rid of them uh, because... They're no good for sure, you, right? Sure, I understand, So yes. if I had a 1 or a 13 right now, I'd want to get rid of it. Right now, I also need more uh, blacks on the table versus reds. Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of the 6. Yeah. Because oh. I'm not... Is <laughs> that already getting too confusing for it's you? It's not that it's confusing. It's just, like, no, really it's... daunting to be explained. Obviously, the tutorial would, like, lead you through all this. But having someone, like, verbally explain it... I mean, we're looking at it. We can see what's going on. I'm doing really hot right now. He's, he's like, you're like flying. So this is so also one, one play. Right now I can go with a three or a two or a two and a one. And, and I okay. want to get Okay, I'm with you. One. I'm with you. So one. Oh, but ironically, I, uh, well, actually, where are you selecting? Works. So is this, this is a passing play right now? Yeah, I'm on a passing play. Okay. So you understand. can see me here. See yeah. this guy right here? Yeah. That's like how far I've gone. Okay. So I have, uh, I've gone 56 yards and I needed 36. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm trucking right now. So what's interesting about this, uh, uh Fans of the podcast, the besties, might recall that sure. in the very first episode, I brought a game called Fairway Solitaire, which was a golf remixed version of Solitaire yeah. that uh, I was resolutely made fun of. People then found out it was quite a, quite a good game. Okay. But with that game, it really did use a lot of the Solitaire mechanics, like basic Solitaire sure, mechanics. Sure, sure. This sort of does, but really doesn't. It does. Well, that's the thing. So... I was telling you earlier, like, you have to know about football and you have to know about I solitaire. don't think you need to know about football. You need to know a little bit about it. And I'll Why? get to that in a second. Okay, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish up this play right now. Okay, so please I, do. I gained 72 yards Good on work. that. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to end the play because... Why wouldn't you just keep doing hit, big play? Because, at least my experience yesterday, when I was on offense, every time I hit big play, I fumbled it. Oh, um, fumble, Rusty. So I, I'm going to end the play. That's exciting. Let's see where that puts me. 
First oh, down. first down. Good work. I have first and four, so I'm going to keep it safe. Okay. I'm just going to go for the run. Good thinking. If I get a single touch right here, I should... You got a match? I should finish No, this. no matches. You're in trouble. Oh, my this gosh. Is this is, I'm just going to end the play. You, just a bold choice. Second down. Running it. Oh, See, you got a match. There you go. Where, oh, no, where, you where can't. Where is it? So my color blindness tends to uh, mix up black oh and my red. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is terrible. Okay, I'm going to end the play. Okay, you don't want to do... this is where it's getting like... I think totally because... like a... Okay, I understand. A risk versus reward. And he, know, he knows that I'm going to keep going for this run. So he's, he's messing up. You don't want to do head. like a Tony Romo big play on the, <sighs> end, on the end zone? Okay, I'm going to go for a Tony Romo Tony big Romo. play on the final. Here we go. No, big play. On, no, on, on the, the final down. down. Fourth down. So you can't kick it. Is that correct? You can't. So right oh, now I can kick a field goal, but I'm but not going to. Four and two. Nine and... Oh, there you go. Nine and eight. There's your run. There it is. Touchdown. The Blues are up. So that's why it's kind of like football. You're, you're weighing in the decision of okay. the run for short yards, sure. the pass. Sure. Now, if one of the cards gets hit really hard, you have to take him after the game because of concussion? or Yeah, yeah. So what happens is if you have the Jamal Charles card, then the opposing team barely hits him. Yeah. And then that uh, the opposing team's doctor comes in and rules it a concussion, okay. and then you don't get to go to the playoffs. I see. Um, Actually, so yeah. I'm going to defend right. the run right here, okay? So now... Here's where it's weird, because I don't think it's the same for me as it is for the computer. I can knock his play back by playing essentially the same game on defense, right? Well, can you play this game against a human being? No. Okay, Not so it th seems I, I like so. the rules change depending on, you know, who, what you're playing as. Yes. What is the, Whether what is you're the a old... computer or you're a human? Well, no, but you're telling me you can't... No, I mean, if you're on offense or defense. Yes. Well, okay, so now... You have a limited number of big plays okay. per half. Sure. And you gain one for every touchdown. That's accurate to football, though. Sure. Big plays, right. Sure. Um, so I, I don't have anything right here. I'm going to go for... Wait, do I? No, I don't. Yes. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Internet television, folks. This is what we're okay. working with. Okay. So I, mean, I got let me 12. Just, uh, can I break in for a second while you play? You can oh, keep playing. Okay. I'm going to break in just for people that are just joining us. We should mention we were somewhat limited this week due to uh, yeah, hardware. Yeah, apologize. This is a great episode. Uh, this is uh, fascinating. Don't. Uh, but you might be wondering, like, why is there not, you know, hot 3D? Sure, action? hot 3D. Um, and we were just a little bit limited in terms of our hardware this week. We'll be back next week with a slamming brand new gaming PC that sure. is on its way. I don't think you should knock this game, though. I'm because not I will it. say, this game's fun as hell. I'm not knocking it, but I would also say, like, I think people watching a stream might not be super engaged by watching it. I don't know what you're talking like, about. Like, if I was watching, I love Fairway Solitaire. I don't think I could watch a Fairway Solitaire stream. You're crazy. But we're doing it. We're living it right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is, I would say, a masterpiece. It, it's uh, it's certainly up there. I think it's and, uh, and, uh, just, and no jokes. It's it's also well. No, never mind. It, it, it it's great. This is what I will say about <laughs> the game. Like, there's no question about it. Like, it's very original. Sure. And a lot of thought was put into the rule set uh -huh. and the um, sort yeah, of think. like way to differentiate it from other yeah. solitaire games uh -huh. out there. Uh, I've never seen a solitaire game quite like this. I'd also <laughs> mention um, clip art. If you're a fan of clip art, Got check it, it out. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a big play. And big plays. You know, when I watch football, you know, people do, like, little runs or, like, slot routes and stuff sure. like that. Not super interesting. The why I watch football is for the big plays, the big Richard Sherman plays. I would have never guessed that about you. That's why I watch. Oh, man, I just got rid of the 13. That was pretty intense. <laughs> third down, I held him. Let's uh, see. Fourth down? Is he going to punt Fourth it? down. So oh, come on. He's got to punt. Oh, fourth so you 32. can punt as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. they're lining up to punt. Boring. That's the kick! Can you, go. can you screw up a punt? Plenty of hang time on this oh, one. Oh my god. Heads up field, tackled immediately. Oh. oh. I do want to see one of the text Hunting. moments. Is it like FTL where okay, like yeah. well, I'll, random I'll, things I'll, happen? I'll start playing a risky okay. game. We'll go do for a some risky passes. Game. Uh, do a big play. Let's see. 12 and 11. 10, 3. No, can't. Oh. Oh. Okay, got okay, it. Okay, there you go. Oh. This is. So I have to go with a big play oh, right here. Big but, play it. Oh. oh man, it's. Oh. I have to go big again. Big play. It's uh, working out for me pretty well, go. to be honest. Four and a three. Eight so you get nine. limited big plays on nine. defense, but on on offense you have unlimited. Uh, yes, but that's also because big plays are so risky. Bad on things can happen. That yeah, you would be. Man, I am having a okay. Hell of just a game scroll right through now. the big plays so we can see. Uh, the big plays. I don't want to waste this opportunity, man. These oh aren't coming along that often. We're gonna win a game like Ooh. this. No nines, no nines. Okay, ready? Big play. Oh, running in the open space. space. 
He spins around. Oh. What? Can I? I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I got, I got a different card. Oh, lovely. Oh man, this is really working out for us, you know? Yeah, if only it worked out for the Chiefs. Wow. That could not. <laughs> How did... We tried to okay. fumble. Okay, I don't. I can't watch any more of this game. Are you serious? I really can't. Wait, I'm I want. I want. I want to see what people say. You want to play some of it? That would probably help oh, you. Fine. Try not so, to ruin this. For I'm me. not going to. This I don't think it's a bad game. I just like my patience for watching people play it. Okay, so 12 and 11. Woo! Matching numbers. Uh, can't match anything. Seven and six. Kill me now. Okay. Please kill me. <laughs> Please uh, chat. Please let me end this segment. Okay. Why does that guy have a football? It's just an art thing? What? What do you mean? This guy has a little football next to him. And and they have footballs in their hands, too. Yeah, but what is he doing? Spinning it? No, he like he, that, he's the kicker. Oh, my God. Go. Just in play every time. Then you're Why? Gonna go on, you're going to go on offense. because I don't care it. about offense. I got it. Can you got we, it? Yeah, I got it. I got the idea. Fine. Uh, let's let's talk. See, are there any questions in the no. chat room apart from <laughs> kill me? Kill me now. How long can we keep this going? Um, okay. Okay. So uh, that was uh, Gridiron Solitaire. Well done, uh, Chris, for bringing that. Again, let me reiterate. Um, not a bad game. Probably not the most visually engaging game in the world. <laughs> um, but uh, do you have any gems in there? Uh, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Definitely Drew, not. We could Drew say says, out loud. with this trend, I assume Tetris is the next game. Yes. And I'm sorry, it's free sell. Uh, um, no. no. Uh, we actually have an, a really exciting game to end the show with because we were worried about uh, these games maybe not holding it up. I sure. also want to mention that um, we were originally going to bring Estranged, which is a free, free to play uh, mod for Half Life 2. So if okay. you own Half Life 2, which probably you do because everyone does, you can download this mod. Um, it's basically like a survival horror, uh, sort of lost meets mist. You're crashed on an island, zombies, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. Wait, there are zombies in it? There are zombies in it. How do you feel about that? Uh, they might not be zombies. They might just be angry folks. Yeah, I looked at the screens because you were like, don't, don't learn anything about this game. And I then you learned. I wanted to be surprised. Yeah. And there were no people in the screens. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this looks like one of those adventures, you know, I Maybe thought it was going to be like the Arrester, all alone. but sure. it's it's not. It turns into like it's for a free mod. I think sure. You know, I mean, definitely can't. Complain. Definitely worth checking it out. It starts with a really cool sequence in a boat. Is okay. all I'll say. Um, but we weren't able to play that because we tried to running on this <laughs> PC and it really was not happening. We didn't want to show you a game running at five frames a second. But check it out. Um, but okay. there is a game that we're going to end the show with, and this is this is a game that uh, we. Uh, you guys at home probably won't be able to play unless you have an Ouya, which you probably don't because they didn't sell super well. Um, and even if you do, let me say, um, the platform that we're about to play this game on is considerably better. better far, far superior. Far, far better uh, um, for playing. Uh, and the game is Towerfall. And uh, for those that don't know, Towerfall is a four-player, <laughs> um, I guess two to four-player, multiplayer, side-scrolling, game and we in the office here at Polygon are big big fans of Towerfall. We play on a very regular basis. We have a rank leaderboard and everything like that and we thought it would be a fun thing to try. We had some suggestions for this. A fun thing to try where you and I sure. basically end each show of Polygon Live with a very quick game of uh, Towerfall 1 versus 1 and we'll keep a ranking. We'll see who's better. Uh, I know I'm better, but we'll, mm. we'll, you know, we'll see who's better, and okay. it'll give folks a chance to check out Towerfall now, before it comes out. We've talked about this plenty on Besties and, we and the other shows. This is, I think, the first time we've streamed it. Yeah, I don't think so we've ever whatever. streamed it on PC. Now you can so see why, why we get so uh, aggressive and competitive about this game. Uh, so uh, here we're going to go right into Towerfall. Um, Might be running a little slow. Yeah, it was running fine before, but again, we are limited in terms of our... Uh, I think we're okay. So uh, we're gonna turn on, so I should mention Towerfall allows people to uh, adjust settings. There's like default settings. We play with certain settings, so I'm gonna use those now. We use no auto balance. We use single arrow uh, with 360 aiming, which is very handy. And I'm, oh, and symmetrical treasure, which allows treasure to appear symmetrically. And we can even store that as a preset, which I'm gonna do right now. And now whenever we wanna use that preset, we just select A. Do I show them some of the, uh... Arrows. Maybe we'll do that. No, we'll, that let's just play the game and we'll do a deep dive another time. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately it is running a little bit slowly. Again, hardware limitations, I'm sorry. But it's passable. Okay. Runs pretty good uh, right now. Um, so I'm the blue person. I'm the yellow person. Uh, is that yellow? It looks yeah, orange looks like to me. Yeah, like gold almost. And um, we're so, just gonna get started. A so, few things, uh, uh, yeah. you, stay, you stay there. Okay. We're so gonna... I'm, I'm the gold guy right here. You can jump, you can shoot, and then if you dodge, you can catch your own arrows. Yeah. Or you can catch any arrows. Yeah. Like that. Um, so that's your defensive move. If you stomp on someone's head, that also kills them. We gotta and get that going. Time running out. Time's ah. running out. Let's do it. Okay, it's on. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh man. So Chris jumped on my head there. The problem uh, with the way Freshick plays is he's not good at the game. No. And we're we'll watching the replay. We can skip those because I don't want to mm. watch myself lose. I don't know. I think we can watch him. Okay. Yeah, this is running pretty slowly. Again, we'll be back next week with not crappy hardware. Uh, uh, okay, bring it, Chris. Oh, what uh, up? What up? 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll uh, notice a lot of the visual detail in the background, rain falling, there's like torches flickering. If you shoot arrows through torches, it'll like blow the fire, uh, stuff like Zach that. Zach asks, any uh, comparisons to Samurai Gun? Uh, uh, or opinion on Samurai I Gun? Okay, that's uh, that's a heavy question. If you want my opinion on Summer Run, read the 700 words that I wrote in the Polygon review. <laughs> uh, but in terms of similarities, I think it's closer to like, feels like Smash Brothers, especially with the dodge mechanics and stuff like that. Also the customization. No! Suck it. The customization stuff. Uh, if you like Smash Brothers, uh, I'd recommend it. I should also mention it's local multiplayer only, which is fine, uh, but you should know there is a single player mode for training and sort of a quest mode, which is fun, but um, you really should have people over to play this game or if you're in like a dorm-like setting or if your office allows video games, which is a nice office to be in, um, that's really the best way to play this game. Oh, oh you're dead for No, you're not. No way. So that was just an awesome dodge, dodge, uh, trading, uh, dodge trading, if you will. You can dodge through a ton of arrows. Oh God. Whoa! Oh, shoot. So my dodge Your ran out just and he, up. he arrowed me. Um, I, I would also say for Samurai Gun that that's more of like a crazier, looser party game. I'm sure there are people who are gonna find ways to play it competitively. Um, yeah. But for me, uh, I prefer this as a competitive game. Yes, I would agree with that. If this feels like it has more precision to it, a little less randomness, and the map design is much, much better in Towerfall than it is in Samurai Gun. Right, so we have shields. Wow. How did that not knock wow. your shield out? that's unusual. So we have uh, shields going, which let you survive one arrow shot, but you can't, so you can pop them, which wow. I've done there. Oh God. I think old school shield wall. Oh, wow. no. Oh, dang. Oh dear. Okay, so we're we're uh, pretty much tied at this point. Oh, oh God. No, oh, no. it's just a bad day for you. Well, not really, I'm only down by one. That was... Uh, Zach also asked, is this still early 2014? Yes, uh, yes. from what we know. There's no official uh, release date for this. It's coming out on PC and PS4 uh, with other platforms. And local maybe. multiplayer. And local multiplayer, yes. So we got some darkness going on. Okay. Oh, there you are. Oh. Oh, God. I'm not feeling it. Now I can hide in the darkness, even though I know he knows where I am. Oh, yes! Oh. Good work. Okay, this is gonna be a good one. Okay. I can feel okay. it. Okay. Here we Tied go. Tied at 3 3. Here we go. Okay. It's all about. Ah, no treasure drop. No treasure, that's fine. I can go solo. Oh. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Right now we're trying to position ourselves high. That's... Yeah. So it's like that scene in Star Wars Episode 3 where uh, I think Anakin or Obi Wan is like, I have the high ground. And then, you know, remember that scene? Ah, uh, no. In episode three? Mm, didn't remember that one. And he has like the robot legs. Oh God. No! Oh, yes! No! Oh my gosh, this is the worst. So I'm one away from winning. Chris is terrible. And blue archer for the win. Here, here it comes, okay. coming at you. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, it's got some lava going on there. More lava. If he falls in that lava, I get the win. Fall in the lava, Chris. No. Ah, dang, you have high ground too. Oh, I just gave it up. I just gave it up. See, he's gonna over pursue. He's gonna go after me. Whoop, what up? 
Oh, Noble. Trying to drop it. Lantern. Oh, no! there it is! Oh my gosh, this is the worst. And the very first Polygon Live Towerfall <laughs> 101 match is over. I am victorious. Thank you for participating, Chris. I would just like to note that I was reading the comments. Uh, well, really? While count. we were playing? It didn't count. You were reading comments? That's what I have to say. Um, um, uh, do we play mostly four-player uh, free-for-all or 2v2? Uh, we Almost so, exclusively free-for-all. Yeah. We, uh, we actually only recently just tried 2v2. And 2v2 is a lot of fun, um, but we almost always play uh, free-for-all with yeah. um, first to ten to kills, I believe, is our setting. Uh, yes, uh, and we have kind of like four or five stages. Oh, as we like go through this over the next few yeah, weeks, we'll be playing through the game, a bunch of different we'll stages. We'll play through a different stages and you'll get an idea of how they actually change yep. pretty significantly. This is the standard like first and final map yep. uh, where you don't have to worry about excuses for why people like did well. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, that was Towerfall. Um, and that pretty much wraps the show up for us. Um, thank you for joining me, Chris. It's thank been you lovely. For having me again. Um, and thank you all at, at home for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, just a reminder, we will be back next week, uh, Wednesday at noon Eastern for Polygon Live. Not only that, we'll be back with new fancy PC gaming hardware with new and fancy PC mm -hmm. games. And not just that, maybe some guests. And maybe some guests. And maybe some big name games. Big name games. Uh, some folks were asking about Hearthstone. That will definitely be in there. So stay tuned for that next Wednesday at noon Eastern. And thanks again for watching. We'll check you later.